Happy 2018 New Year! I know, I know. Of all the things that you used to make this my first video of 2018, you must be like, what? Or why? Why this piece of garbage? Well, I'll tell you exactly why. It's because I originally intended to do this back in December 2017, but thanks to time constraints and the fact that I had a lot of other things going on because, you know, the season, it didn't happen. That said, I obviously have not kind of idea of making this video, so let's get into this, shall we? First things first, I should actually mention the fact that I rarely do commentaries and discussions on movies because I rarely watch movies to begin with. When I'm watching a video of this sort, it's usually from YouTube and the like. Now, I chose this movie because I felt like doing commentary on a movie for a change. Also, because I happen to love and use emojis a lot myself, as you can so obviously tell from my comments. Seriously, you don't even have to know me very well to quickly figure that out. This movie also made a lot of notoriety back in 2017, as was slammed by many as being exceedingly stupid, stereotypical, unimaginative, extremely annoying, and just downright disappointing. Because of this, the Emoji Movie has made its way onto the list of worst movies of 2017 by virtually everyone. Okay, so because of this intense hate towards the movie, my love for emojis, and the fact that even people I knew refused to spend any money towards seeing it, I just had to give it a watch. So. As we all know, this movie is about a boy named Alex who happens to have a smartphone with emojis living in it. The emojis live in a city called Textopolis or something, so when he selects an emoji, they must be ready to work. Unfortunately, the emoji he wants to use to respond to a specific message, a meth face named Jean, gets too nervous and ends up making the wrong facial expression and causes the wrong face to appear to the girl he sent an emoji to. So yes, this causes him to wonder what's up with his smartphone because he's not aware of the fact that the emojis are alive and capable of doing wonky things as we see throughout the movie. So okay. I guess that's the first big issue we can talk about here. Rather than him resorting to sending an emoji to express himself, why couldn't he just type out words? Or if that's too hard to do, why couldn't he just write a good old love letter and put it in her locker or have a friend help or something? Like, why did they have to make him so cheesy, dumb, and awkward? I think this is just one of many things that may have annoyed people about this movie. Even though expressing your feelings to the person you love can be hard, there are much better and more obvious solutions of going about this problem. Yet, they just had to make him resort to doing this. Okay, so Alex and his school crush, Addy McAllister, obviously aren't the only main focus of this movie. Most of it actually deals with the malfunctional man emoji named Gene, who's on the run for his life as he tries to avoid getting deleted by bots that keep chasing him. There's also a hand emoji named Hi-Fi that accompanies him, and an undercover princess emoji named Jailbreak to help him get to the cloud in safety, where he can be reprogrammed. Now for Hi-Fi, I have yet to see anybody mention anything good about him. Just about every comment I've read complains about how annoying and arrogant this British hand was throughout the movie. And for Gene, get ready for the pun, meh. He was labeled as very meh and uninspiring, which is funny considering that he is a meh emoji. For jailbreak, I've seen people criticize her for being an annoying feminist or just stereotypically annoying in other areas. How do I personally feel about these characters? Well yeah, I have to agree that they were really dumb, annoying, and cliche, but not to the point that they made the movie unbearable. I actually found them quite funny and entertaining at times. But despite this, I must agree that the movie would have been much better if it showcased Alex and his surroundings much more rather than the emojis running and causing Alex's smartphone to do unintended things most of the time. Yes! And speaking of this, I must say that there are two scenes that were notably funny. The first is where Alex just wanted to casually ask Ali about a dance, only to have the phone blurt out, Tasty! Delicious! Divine! Sweet. You can just imagine how awkward and embarrassing that must have been. This causes him to quickly try and shush the phone and delete the app. LOL particularly at delicious and tasty. Now try telling your crush or lover how delicious and tasty they are and watch and see if you don't get smacked, told off, frowned at, or experience some other negative reaction of the sort. Okay, to be fair, there are some people that would laugh positively or be complimented from that, but in most cases, this is just asking for straight up trouble. Okay, so for the other super funny scene, he was just outside the school with several people around, and then the phone starts playing Bubble Butt! <laughs> I guess it's moments like that, as well as the cutoff swearing and suggestive expressions in some scenes that have caused people to wonder about how appropriate this movie is. So, anyways, with the frequent unintended actions a smartphone makes, this triggers Alex to book an appointment to have his phone examined and professionally wiped. Yikes! Does this mean that all the emojis are going to end up dying? All thanks to stupid Gene who just couldn't get his act together? No. No it does not. Instead, Gene decides to take Jailbreak's device and just be himself. When he does be himself, it causes his emoji to appear as a multi-expressive face when sent to Addy. Addy finds the emoji to be pretty cool and is impressed by it. Ah, oh, how cheesy, cute, and a Adorable. Addy understands that he's trying to express multiple words through an emoji and agrees to go to the dance with him. 
Yay! The handsome corny boy gets to go out with his crush and decides to spare his for the professional wife, even though it acts weird. Wow! Quite a movie, eh? So what's my final verdict here? If I must be brutally honest, 70% out of 100%. <gasps> What? You didn't really think that I would just automatically rate 20% just because 90% of the population that watched it has given it equivalent ratings like that, did you? Well, here's why I give it that rating. As silly as this movie is, the adventures through text office and other parts of the smartphone were highly entertaining to watch, and the animation and graphics in this cartoon were phenomenal. Even those that hated the movie can't deny this, but some even giving it credit for that as being one of the good things they had to say about it. And as lame as Alex is, you gotta love that shy boy as well as the girl he's going after. Too bad the humans don't get as much screen time as the emojis, but at least their wild, silly adventures were amusing. I should also mention that it was criticized by some as being too consumeristic. They say that it was a money grab and how it was filled with product placement thanks to all the copyrighted brands mentioned and logos that appear within the movie. Seeing as though most of this movie did take place in a smartphone, I'm not sure why it shocked or annoyed some people so much about seeing things like Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, Dropbox, Victoria's Secret, and Candy's Crush. Now in regards to the movie being a knockoff of most notably Inside Out, Wreck-It Ralph, Tangled, Legos, and others, I honestly can't comment on that because I haven't watched those movies nor do I have any plans to do so. Why? Because videos and movies on technology, automotive, wildlife, instruments, and some games remain my top interest. That's why. Now, you probably might have a few words to say about that, but you better not, lest I swoop down and box you silly. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Guzaka Tube, and now I am out. Okay, be brutally honest and speak with the mind of your own. Did you like the Emoji movie? Or did you hate it like most people? I surprisingly liked it. Now what about this video itself? Did you like it? Comment, rate, like, subscribe. Share, read my blog for information, and visit my Twitter page to collect strawberries and coal. No, I'm kidding. Visit my Twitter page to see my latest tweets. And do not forget to participate in the polls in the top right corner in the I circle.